Hi, this is Mike Casey for Penn TV. I'm on Broadway and Redwood Creek in downtown Redwood City. I'm standing by the entrance and exit to Marshall's Garage. You're probably saying, Mike, what's so important, what's so historic about Marshall's Garage? Well, as so often in life, the truth lies beneath the surface, and never so much as in this case. What lies beneath the surface here is the beginning of Redwood City. Redwood City's name came from below the surface here, Redwood City's first resource. I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, the Embarcadero and Turning Basin of Redwood City at its beginnings in the 1850s, in the 1860s. From the Redwood Forest to the west of us, dragged down here by oxen, came Redwood logs to be loaded on loading docks here, and then floated out at high tide into the bay up to San Francisco. They were either floated out or they were brought out on light schooners. Light schooners were the only kind of craft that could fit into this narrow embarcadero and turning center. Broadway at the time was one block, it was hot and dry in the summer, it was a quagmire in the winter. It was only wooden planks, no sidewalk. Think about cowboy movies when the cowboys came in for the weekend into the town. The loggers were up in their camps all week and they'd come down here on the weekends and Broadway at this time in the 1850s and 60s took on all the characteristics of a wild west town from your favorite western. In 20 years the forest played out, the business center of Redwood City moved west to the depot, the railroad depot, and all that's left is the name Redwood City from that time and that era at the beginning of Redwood City. There is a path of history, this is one part on the path of history sponsored by the Historic Resource Council of Redwood City, so I invite you to come and visit other sites along the way in downtown Redwood City. You can start at the kiosk down here at Broadway in Maine. And look for me on Penn TV for more history segments of San Mateo County. Thank you. Thank you.